Hi students, we are on chapter two of this calculus book. We're gonna go over 2.1 today, which is gonna cover what tangents are. Usually we call it the tangent line or the point right here is where it touches, the line touches the curve. You could think of it as like, oh, if there's a ruler here we put on, where would it balance on this circle? And wherever it balances, that is the tangent point, and then it'll extend to become the tangent line. Um, you could also think of it as there's like a 90 degrees here between this line um, and the curve. Uh, you could also think of it as like a roller coaster. Where would the roller coaster balance if it stopped right at that moment and you drew a line there and extended it? You could think of the tangent line like that. Um, so here's an example. So it's find an equation of the tangent line to the parabola y equals x squared at the point 1, 1. So the point 1, 1 is here. How would you find the tangent line? So we use two points to find like the slope like they do here. They use uh, 1.15 and um, the original point 1, 1 here. So, uh, 1.15 and it becomes 2.25. So this is your x value and y value. y subtract y, x subtract x. Then you get an approximation of the slope and it will get closer and closer to 1. So it goes from 2 to 1.5 to 1.1 to 1.01 to 1.001, which is getting close to 1. They're doing it from the right-hand side and also from the left-hand side. So starting from 0, 0 0.5, 0 0.9, 0 0.99, 0 0.99999. And you can notice that both of these here, the slope, gets really close to 2. So we would say that the limit um, goes to 2. So the slope we would approximate as 2. And if the slope is 2, uh, remember y equals mx plus b. Uh, what is the, where does it cross here? You find where it crosses, you draw the line. Um, because it touches that point right here, we could do y minus 1 equals 2x minus 1 because this is point slope form minus y minus the y value, x minus the x value, and you put the slope there. That's mainly what they're trying to show you here in this example. Um, like I mentioned earlier, we usually use two points. We find the slope, and when we use these two points to draw this line, this blue line you see here is called the secant line, and we try to get it closer and closer and closer to p so that almost becomes one line and when it just balances on that one point that is the tangent line that we were talking about earlier up here usually we do this from both sides from the right and also from the left um, to make sure that they're the same just to check that both sides get the same uh, value um, for the tangent line because if they're not the same then it doesn't exist so once again, a lot of times this is called average rate of change, or sometimes they think of it as average velocity, and you do the similar calculations, the y values minus the y value uh, divided by the x values. Uh, instantaneous, that word means at that moment, so it's getting so close to that just that one point, so that's instantaneous, it's instant, one point, one moment, versus uh, average, you take two points, you average it. Um, so average would be the secant line. If it's only one point instantaneous, that would be the tangent line.